So what advice would you give Malia to somebody who might be listening right now Mm -hmm. and you know, maybe has a hard time making friends. Like maybe they're really shy or, you know, they aren't in a community or involved in things right now where they've got a lot of friends going on in their group. Is there like any kind of advice you would give someone listening about how to make friends and how to be a good one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, gosh, I, I played a character who was very similar to that, a very shy girl and was very introverted, did not know how to make her friends and um, had a really hard time trying to find herself and being okay with herself. Um, So I think the only thing is that I can really provide comfort in is that there's probably someone in the same room that you are that is going through the exact same thing. They're probably having a really hard time trying to be themselves, trying Mm. to put themselves out there, trying to not want to call home straight away. Um, And it's so hard to do because I feel like the easiest thing to say is go up to them, go say hi, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's hard. You know, you can't really do that. It's, it's a difficult feeling because you're both going through the same thing. It's not exactly like mm-hmm. they're going to do the exact same thing. So I would really just say, spend some time, spend some time and work on yourself just a little mm-hmm. bit. What do you like? Like, what do you like doing? What do you want to find people that have the same interests of you? Do you want to like, get into art? Do you like science? Do you like math? All those type of things. And um, just kind of put yourself and throw yourself into those situations that you wouldn't necessarily do two months ago. And as difficult as it is, I feel like it's part of like what I said before, the growing. And also when you're making new friends, I feel like especially in middle school, you always want to have that like perfect friend group of like the really popular girls. But that's Mm -hmm. sometimes really scary. But there is a lot of pressure to have like a good girl friend group. So I want to know what your experiences have been with that. How do you handle a big friend group? And especially Mm -hmm. ones where some people are closer inside the friend group and there might be those those little clicks which is Mm. honestly that happens a lot of the time yeah yeah it does happen a lot of the time I I remember being a part of this trio friend group and I feel like we all know that sometimes they're not the best situation there's always one person (laughs) given moment that feels like they're being left out and that it's a best friend situation and you're just tagging along for the Mm -hmm. ride and Mm -hmm. it's hard because you thought your initial response to this was oh we're great we're a group but it just doesn't turn out to feel that way at the end of the day um and I think that's when you really got to honestly my first what I remember is my first experience was that was in like kindergarten and we're still friends to this day is hilarious so (laughs) I it's like obviously people that I wanted to stick around with um but I think just having those conversations of I'd really like to do this thing with you guys or even giving yourself the opportunities to allow yourself to wiggle in and Mm. create activities that allow three people to do things because they usually don't come in three people things, which is really annoying. (laughs) Um, What else was I going to say? The funny thing is, is though, is that sometimes you're the person that is in the kind of inner circle and Mm -hmm. that even sucks more because you can see someone else is having a really hard time. But there's that kind of veil that you put over yourself because you're having a great time finally and you want to enjoy it. Um, So I really think just be the bigger person with that. Treat people how you want to be treated in that sense and um, allow yourself to actually be a part of that kind of group because it is hard. I mean, I feel like we've probably all experienced that kind of group and not knowing the complete dynamics of that group in different scenarios. And you mentioned something really important too, though, which is about Mm -hmm. communication, like speaking up and saying something. I find most of the conflict that happens in all relationships, but Mm -hmm. especially friendships, is when we either feel intimidated to say something or we're afraid of conflict. We're afraid like if I say something to this friend, they're going to hate me. I'm going to yeah. get kicked out of the group, you know. And I think those are really important mm-hmm. signs to look for, right? Like a easeful communication is really important. Yeah. Malia, do you have any thoughts or advice on how to speak up when you're having a conflict with a friend? Have you noticed anything that really worked for you to make communication successful? Yeah, actually, it's funny. I use codes with my friends a lot. Yeah. I use them with Shay sometimes too. We'll be like, yeah. 
this. I think we have a hedgehog emoji code. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We do. That. Yeah, we haven't used it in a while, which is good, though, because it, it was our code for, like, Stuff's I'm up. not doing great right Aww. now. Like, I, I want to talk to you about something. So it's good that we haven't had to use exactly. it. Yeah. Exactly. I was about to say, I was like, I haven't seen it in a while. I'm actually yeah. really happy I have it. Um, but there are those kind of codes, because for me, at least, I've always found it really difficult to deal with conflict with my close family, friends as well, even my sister. I don't like dealing with conflict in that sense. And scary. although sometimes really, really needed, it's just, it's hard and you don't mm-hmm. know what to do with yourself. You don't know how it's going to affect your friendship afterwards and you want it to remain the same and um, the same level of love and closeness as you initially had. So I would really say find what works for you. If there's like one word that you want to use, that's like, this isn't okay with me, mm. but I love you. But also, can we talk about this a little bit more? <laughs> a phone call, a, yeah. just a group hangout so we can like have a complete spill of emotions and feelings. Yeah. I feel like that's how you get your closest friends in all honesty is yeah. once they've seen you completely break down. And yeah. I once definitely you're vulnerable. have done that. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah, they got to see the ugly cry a little yeah. bit. And I want to say really quickly totally. too, there are so many different ways to bring up difficult things that you mm-hmm. want to talk about with your friends or with your family. Um, if you feel like you just can't say the words to their face, you can write it in a letter and leave it for them to read. You can send a text. You can have a phone call, a FaceTime. Figure out what works for you, like Malia was just saying, because yeah. it's different for everybody. Yeah. 